You see this smile on my face? I am smiling because I made it through another rough year. First and foremost, I want to thank all of my viewers. And as you watch my YouTube videos, Hanging With D, get healthier, to eat healthier, exercise more, start something new. And for all of you who have subscribed to my channel, thank you. I'm at 90, I started this channel in, back in July. Hopefully, before this year is over, I can hit that magic 100 subscriber mark. So if you haven't subscribed to this video, please do so and give it a thumbs up. The past couple of years have been incredibly difficult. 2020, what was that? We thought 2021 was gonna be even better. It turned out to be a dud in the end. Yes, those years were bad. If you guys are depressed over what happened over the past couple of years, you really shouldn't be because you are alive today to see another year. I had a pretty good Christmas this year. I was very happy with the gifts that I received. I was very blessed. I feel loved. Some of the things I got, totally fitting for me. That helped me roll into the new year. No one is better than me. I carry my belt with pride. I did not get one pair of pants, I got two. The man in the dark pants, it's more than likely, it could be me. This one even has holes in the back. Wow. I got a new pair of running sneakers. Since I'm not being sponsored by this company yet, I can't show you its name. I'll give you a hint. Ho, ho, ho. Wow. Look how cool these sneakers are. They're lightweight too. This is exactly what I needed to shave off two or three seconds on my next marathon race. Blood pressure monitor. My blood pressure is actually really good. Gonna be 49 in February. I guess I've done all right so far. It never hurts to test your blood pressure. If you saw my skiing video, I told you the things that you need to buy. Elbow pads, knee pads, and most importantly, ass pad. Does this make my butt look big? And for those of you who run, socks. Bye-bye calluses and blisters. Ski socks keep my feet nice and toasty and also get rid of calluses and blisters as well. And when you're done skiing and when you're done running and when you're done exercising, you're gonna need one of these. This is not a hairdryer. It should not be used as a hairdryer, guys. This is a massaging gun. I don't know if you can hear it. It comes with a whole bunch of cool attachments. This for my back. Pound away, baby. For your shoulder. You know, not quite sure where this one is going to go. This one looks like it hits two spots at once. Take it, baby. Words of encouragement that I can give people who have had a rough year. Don't focus on the small things. Focus on the things that are in your control, like overall health. Eating right, exercising, because that's always something that you can control. Because with your health, you really have wealth. I don't care how much money you have in the bank. You can't pay your cells to get rid of any diseases that you have. If things aren't going your way, and if you're still relatively healthy, or even if you're not healthy, if you have a disease, shift your focus on getting better. Shift your focus on you. You know, as I last looked, you know, at society, it's really a, a rat race out there. Every Everyone wants more money, everyone wants to be the boss, everyone wants to get in front of the line, everyone cuts each other off on a highway, and then that enrages other people, they fight on airlines, you know, it's literally a race to the bottom. And none of these things are focusing on getting you healthier. Are you heading into 2022 depressed, down, not happy? Flip it around, make a change in your life, start being healthier, and you'll wind up being happier. I googled the most popular top three New Year's resolutions, and that is lose weight, exercise more, and save more money. My New Year's resolution is one that should help you encompass all three. My New Year's resolution is being more conscious of your overall health. The one thing in particular that I'm gonna be focusing on more is increasing my glutathione levels. Glutathione. Yes, I said the G word. What the hell is a glutathione? A glutathione is a peptide that's inside your body that your cells make, okay? It's considered the master antioxidant. It's responsible for a lot of things in your body to keep you healthy. And it includes, moderates inflammation, neutralizes free radicals in your body, it's essential for a healthy immune system, it 
increases your insulin sensitivity. It also removes toxins from your body. What's great about this is that your body makes it. It's just a naturally occurring antioxidant that's produced in your body. But the problem is levels of it goes down for many reasons. One, obviously, if you're sick, the glutathione levels are being depleted in order to fight the infections that are in your body. If you have a chronic disease, that's another thing that brings it down. Chronic stress. But the biggest thing that really has a big impact on your glutathione levels is age. As we get older, the levels of it decreases. Your cells are getting weaker as you get older. It's a known fact. Why don't we focus on slowing down that decrease as we get older? Yeah, we may live longer. We may not live longer. But you know what? We'll be healthier longer. Watching my channel, you're going to learn a lot. There's a whole bunch of stuff that goes on inside your body that you can control to help you fight off diseases, to help you slow down the progression. Glutathione for 2022 people. That's what I'm going to be rolling with. We'll be talking more about these great things to help you live a happier, healthier, hopefully a fuller life that money cannot buy. So guys, are you with me in 2022? This is the year that we come at it hard. Stay with me, hang with D. We're gonna do great things in 2022. Until then, Happy New Year, and all the best to everyone.